you can read 1 Corinthians chapter 12 verse 3 good news read read louder it says I want you to know that no one who is led by the God Spirit can say I curse on Jesus. And no one who can confess Jesus is God without being guided by the Holy Spirit. Yeah, yes. So the scripture is telling us no one can confess that Jesus is Lord without the power of the Holy Spirit. So all of us we confess that Jesus is Lord. Amen? All of us, we confess that Jesus is Lord. So we have the Holy Spirit in us. Because the Holy Spirit guides us in every way, in every way we do. The Holy Spirit guides us. Amen? So, all of us, we have the Holy Spirit. All of us, we have the Holy Spirit. Because no one can confess that Jesus is Lord without being guided by them power of the Holy Spirit. Now, how can you get the power of the Holy Spirit? Because all of us, we have the Holy Spirit. How can we get the power of the Holy Spirit? We are going to know how to get the gift of the Holy Spirit. So let's go in the book of Luke, chapter 11, verse 13. Luke, chapter 11, verse 13. The scripture says that as far as we have, we know how to give good things to our children. But how much more our Father who is in heaven we will give Holy Spirit to those who ask Him. So, our Father who is holy, when you ask Him the Holy Spirit, the gift of the Holy Spirit, He will give you. When you ask the gift of the Holy Spirit, He will give you. So, we should ask God the gift of the Holy Spirit. In remember in the book of Matthew chapter 7 verse 7, the scripture says that, ask and you shall be given, seek and you shall, be, you shall find, knock and the door will open for you. I repeat, in the book of Matthew chapter 7 verse 7, ask and shall be given, seek and shall be found. Knock and the door will open, it will be open for you. So when you ask God the gift of the Holy Spirit, He will give you. So point number one, how to get the gift of the Holy Spirit is through prayers. Is through asking into prayers. That is the point number one. Point number two is to is to be baptized in the power of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. Point number two is to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. So let us go in the book of Acts, chapter 2, verse 38 to 39. And Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the, in the name of Jesus Christ, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. So, the gift of the Holy Spirit, point number two, you receive the gift of the Holy Spirit by being baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. So, number one is to ask. When you ask God the gift of the Holy Spirit, He will give you. Number two, when we, you be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, you receive the power of Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Now we are going to learn the importance of the gift of the Holy Spirit. Now, point number one, the importance of the gift of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit reminds us about the Father. The Holy Spirit reminds us about the Father. Let us go in the book of John. In the book of John, chapter 14, verse 26. I will read. The scripture says that, But the Helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all that I have said to you. So the Holy Spirit, he will teach us and he will remind us about what he had taught us. So the Holy Spirit will remind us about the word, about the Father. Because when you read the word of God, God is teaching you through the word. God is talking to you through the word. So the Holy Spirit he will remind you, keep on reminding you every time about the word of God. So some people they are reading the word of God and they forget. Some people they are reading, they are reading the word of God and then they don't understand about the word of God. Because 
they don't have that power of the Holy Spirit. They don't have the gift of the Holy Spirit. So when you have the gift of the Holy Spirit, you will you will know the meaning of the Word of God. You will have the revelation about the Word of God. You will be able to understand about the Word of God. You be, you will be reminded of about the word of God because the Holy Spirit will teach you about the Father. So some people they dream a lot of dreams but they don't have they don't know their meaning. So when you have the gift of the Holy Spirit, you will know the meaning of the dreams which you are dreaming. You will know the meaning of the dreams which you are dreaming. Now when you have the gift of, of the Holy Spirit, you will prophesy oh Shabikana. You will prophesy Manasu kiyabasa, e shobi kanakasa. Amen. So, point number two: the Holy Spirit will, will reveal the truth to you. So, let's go in the book of John, chapter fifteen, verse twenty-six. In the book of John, chapter fifteen, verse twenty-six. Let us go in the book of John, chapter fifteen, verse twenty-six. The Scripture says that. But when the word, but when the helper comes, whom I will send to you from the Father, the Spirit of Truth, who proceed from the Father, He will bear witness about me. So, the Holy Spirit will bear witness about the Son, because the Holy Spirit is God and is the Son. So He will bear the witness about the Son. So the Holy Spirit will reveal the truth about the word of God. The Son means the word of God. The Son is the word of God. So the Holy Spirit will bear witness about the word of God and he will reveal the truth about the word of God. That, that's why I, I say when you have the gift of the Holy Spirit, you will, you will get the revelation about the word of God. So you will understand the word of God with the gift of the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit revealed the truth about the word of God. And you will also reveal the truth about our lives, even the meaning of the dreams. Hallelujah. So, amen. So, point number three, the Holy Spirit will help us to pray. He will help us to pray. Let's go in the book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 26. In the book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 26, the scripture says that, Likewise, the Spirit helps us in our weakness. For we do not know what to pray for as we ought, but the Spirit Himself intercedes for us with groaning too deep for words. So the Holy Spirit helps us intercede for us. The Holy Spirit intercedes for us. When, when you have the gift of the Holy Spirit, you will talk in a new tongue. You will talk in a new tongue. He will intercede for you. The Holy Spirit will intercede. For us, because we do not know how to pray. Remember, in the book of James, chapter four, verse three, the scripture says that we ask and we do not receive because we we are we are asking we are asking with the wrong motive by asking about our self about our self. We are asking because of our own pleasure. But when you ask God according to the will of God, you will receive it. And now. Through the power of the Holy Spirit, the gift of the Holy Spirit, you will receive whatever you are, you are asking because He asks according to the will of God. So remember in the book of Hebrews, chapter 7, verse 25, verse 25 the scripture says that Jesus Himself is, is, is able and bring, is always bring people to God through Him and He always intercedes. For them, Jesus Christ is always interceding for us, and He is the Son, and He is living with us through the Holy Spirit. So He always intercedes for us. So we are ought to pray through the Holy Spirit, and we will pray in spirit because God is spirit. Remember, in the book of John, chapter four, verse twenty-four, God is spirit, and His worshiper must worship Him in spirit and the truth. So we should ask, we should ask God in the spirit and the truth, through the Holy Spirit. Amen? So, be blessed and be blessed. May God bless you.